When thinking of the Lufthansa Group, the first thing that comes to mind for most people is likely its core carrier, Lufthansa. Many others will also be aware that the group also includes a number of other airlines including Swiss, Austrian, Brussels Airlines and Eurowings. But this is truly just the tip of the iceberg, as the Lufthansa Group's activities have also included the modification of aircraft for VIP and government use, aircraft insurance, as well as consultation services for other airlines. Let's look at just how big this company is in today's video. Let's start by examining the most well-known parts of Lufthansa Group, its airlines. The most well-known carriers under the group's umbrella are as follows. Lufthansa, with around 300 aircraft, Swiss, with about 85 aircraft, Austrian, which has over 60 aircraft in its fleet, Brussels Airlines, with more than 40 aircraft, and Eurowings. Including Eurowings Discover and Eurowings Malta, the Eurowings brand has about 140 aircraft. It doesn't stop there. There are actually quite a few more airlines that are wholly owned by the Lufthansa Group. Listed by Planespotters.net, these subsidiaries are as follows. Italian carrier Air Dolomiti and its 19 aircraft, Swiss leisure carrier Edelweiss Air and its 17 aircraft, and then regional carrier Lufthansa City Line, which operates about 50 aircraft. It doesn't stop there, as the Lufthansa Group has a joint venture with fellow Star Alliance member Turkish Airlines in the form of Sun Express. This Turkish-German leisure operator was founded in 1989 as a partnership between the two major carriers and offers numerous direct connections between Europe and Turkey with its fleet of 50 Boeing 737s. Ownership is split right down the middle, with Lufthansa and Turkish each having a 50% share of Sun Express. On the topic of joint ventures, there is also cargo operator Aerologic. This freight carrier is jointly owned by Deutsche Post and Lufthansa through their respective subsidiaries DHL Express and Lufthansa Cargo. Similar to Sun Express, each partner has a 50% share. Aerologic operates a fleet of 21 Boeing 777Fs. And finally, staying on the topic of cargo, we have the cargo divisions of the Lufthansa Group Airlines. Unsurprisingly, there's Lufthansa Cargo and its fleet of 777Fs, as well as Swiss World Cargo and Brussels Airlines Cargo. While Lufthansa Cargo has its very own fleet of dedicated freighters, other subsidiaries simply utilize the belly holds of their respective passenger airlines. The first company we'll examine outside of Lufthansa Group's airlines is LSG Group. For now, the LSG Group business remains with Lufthansa Group. However, Lufthansa Group is in the process of selling off LSG Group and its activities. But until this happens, it's worth looking at this longtime subsidiary and its activities. LSG Group has two main activities, aviation catering and retail. The businesses carrying out these activities are LSG Sky Chefs for catering and Retail in Motion for onboard retail, product development and technology solutions. Interestingly, LSG Sky Chefs isn't just limited to preparing in-flight meals. Indeed, this firm also provides services for airport lounges. This ranges from basic food and beverage services all the way to full lounge management, including lounge cleaning, provisioning, maintenance, reception and more. In terms of airline catering, the LSG Group has a significant amount of clients beyond Lufthansa Group carriers. The group signed new contracts with Condor, Greater Bay Airlines, Turkish Airlines, Virgin Atlantic, Vietnam Airlines and Air New Zealand in the past year. Existing contracts with the likes of Copa Airlines covering 23 stations in North America and Canada for another three years, China Southern Airlines in Thailand and Goal Operations in Brazil. As mentioned, LSG Group and its businesses won't be part of the Lufthansa Group for much longer. This part of the group has been sold off to European firm Aurelius Group. The agreement was announced without either party disclosing the sum, although the LSG Group ended the fiscal year 2022 with a consolidated revenue of 1.96 billion euro or 2.15 billion US dollars. 
The deal includes all 131 LSG Sky Chef's customer service centers across the Americas, Asia-Pacific, and quote-unquote emerging markets regions. The group previously sold off its European activities, LSG Europe, to Gate Group in 2019. Notably, one of Gate Group's more recognized brands is Gate Gourmet. The sale to Aurelius Group is expected to close by the third quarter of this year, pending all relevant external approvals and internal carve-out activities. Moving on, one business that won't be divested from the Lufthansa Group anytime soon is Maintenance, Repair and Overhaul or MRO services provider Lufthansa Technic. Just like LSG Group, Lufthansa Technic's reach is truly global. The company has locations and wholly owned subsidiaries scattered around the world, from Hawker Pacific Aerospace in Burbank, California, to Lufthansa Technic Philippines in Manila. The maintenance and repair side of Lufthansa Technic is fairly clear. The company offers everything aircraft owners and airline customers need to get aircraft off the ground and into the air. This includes engine servicing and component loan and exchange services. However, one of the more interesting parts of Lufthansa Technic is its aircraft modification activity. The company can transform aircraft into secure and luxurious transportation for heads of state, as has been done for the government of Egypt's Boeing 7478i and the Indian government's Boeing 777-300ER. Of course, modification services aren't limited to government aircraft for heads of state as the company is happy to fully modify the interiors of private jets for the ultra-rich as well. Lufthansa Technic can also modify aircraft to become aeromedical transportation or emergency evacuation vehicles. In recent times, this was well demonstrated with the transformation of several Airbus A321LRs for the German government. These narrow-body aircraft will be able to convert from transportation for VIPs to troop transport, or even medical evacuation aircraft. Moving on, it's quite clear that operating an airline is incredibly complex, as we've explored in our How to Start an Airline series of articles and videos. The Lufthansa Group and its subsidiary, Lufthansa Systems, appears to offer everything an airline needs to get their business off the ground. From network planning to flight scheduling to fleet management, it looks like Lufthansa Systems has IT solutions for all things related to running an airline. Of course, if you aren't sure what IT solutions are needed, the company has its own consulting service, which will guide customers through operations, commerce, MRO and more. Lufthansa Systems even offers an airline crisis assistance package which guides customers through major crises such as COVID-19. While Lufthansa Systems appears to have its own consulting division focused on IT, the firm Lufthansa Consulting is a company of its own. This entity offers operational, commercial and financial consulting to groups ranging from airlines to airports and even to civil aviation authorities. Next is Lufthansa Aviation Training. This company would most obviously be the entity carrying out pilot and cabin crew training for Lufthansa Group Airlines. However, this firm is open for business and offers its training services to customers outside the airline. Not only does Lufthansa Aviation Training train aircraft and helicopter pilots, but it also offers safety and emergency training to cabin crews as well as service training for flight attendants, ranging from initial training all the way to first class and senior cabin crew roles. Lufthansa Aviation Training claims to have the largest simulator fleet in Europe with over 50 full-flight simulators and training devices for all major aircraft types. Its six training sites are located in Berlin, Essen, Frankfurt, Munich, Vienna and Zurich. Let's wrap things up by briefly looking at a few more subsidiaries. There are a few more surprising and less surprising companies that are fully or partially owned by the Lufthansa Group. Less surprising are the entities known as Lufthansa Holidays and Help Alliance. The tour and holiday company known as Lufthansa Holidays offers travel packages that include transportation and accommodation. This is something many airlines do, with Air Canada and Air Canada Vacations 
being just one of many other examples. The existence of a charitable division is also something many multinational corporations set up for themselves. In the case of Lufthansa Group, its Help Alliance is focused on working for children, teenagers and young adults who are in need worldwide. Two of the more surprising Lufthansa Group subsidiaries are Airplus International and Delvag. Airplus International, legally known as Lufthansa Airplus Service Carton GmbH, provides corporate payment solutions for 49,000 customers around the world. The company offers business travel management solutions for corporations and offers central accounts, corporate and virtual cards, as well as digital procurement tools. Delvag, another wholly owned Lufthansa Group company, provides insurance, unsurprisingly aviation insurance. However, this company's offerings go beyond aviation and include transportation and marine insurance. While Lufthansa Group might be offloading its LSG Group subsidiary this year, it might just pick up another airline at the same time. The company is set on acquiring a stake in Italian national carrier ETA Airways and has publicly expressed its intention to do so, submitting an offer to the Italian Ministry of Economy and Finance in January. According to Lufthansa Group, the plan is to agree on the initial acquisition of a minority stake as well as on options to purchase the remaining shares at a later date. In its statement, the firm added, For Lufthansa Group, Italy is the most important market outside of its home markets and the US. Italy's importance for both business and private travel lies in its strong export-oriented economy and status as one of Europe's top vacation spots. The deal has yet to be finalized, but at the time of this video's production, Lufthansa seems to be quite close to getting what it wants. So how much of Lufthansa Group did you know about, and how much of it was new to you? Share your thoughts by leaving a comment. Simple Flying publishes over 150 articles every week. If you're looking for the latest aviation news and insights, visit simpleflying.com.